Hey guys, Captain DNA Donut here, and today I'm gonna do my first of, well, maybe not that many, but first of many uh, map walkthroughs, my maps. This map that I'm uh, gonna show you right now is called Street Side, one of my favorite maps that I've ever made. Really a great map. I plan on uploading a gameplay of it soon. It's, uh, we did a one flag capture a flag on it, but that's that. Uh, right now I'm walking through blue team spawn as you can see added this machine gun turn oh well I need to tell you that in the gameplay some of the things are going to be a little different because it was older and um, updated the map and moved a few things around but not that many just mainly added things like the machine gun turn back there and uh, right now I'm walking through the center of the map where trust me a lot of the action happens unless people feel like getting smart and moving around a little bit added that pathway up there uh, that way it'd be another way to move around instead of just only being three main paths, there's also a fourth path that people can get to from either base automatically. And, um, this hill, gonna, another place where most action's gonna be happening. I actually built this map and, well, thinking of capture the flag or like assault objective base pretty much. But, uh, I, it turned out to be more of a one bomb or like a one flag capture flag. As you can see, the map's built for 8 on 8, 16 players. Uh, I, and the map's small, obviously, but I like to give people the option to play with that many people just to see how it works out and hope that they have a lot of fun. But um, right here is where most people come up when you're playing one flag, capture a flag. They just shoot directly for the blue um, red team base, the defenders, without really thinking, well, I wouldn't say thinking, but... I guess hoping that they'll uh, get the flag and get out really fast. But yeah, right now I'm going up into the blue team base. Well, I'm red team. Shoot on a machine gun turn a little bit. Over here to the right, you can't see it, it's off screen, but there was an area that I had to block because you could get on top of the map and that would have been a serious problem. But yeah. These little tiny uh, teleporter frames, if you forge, you know what those are. I like to put those to make them look like uh, phone booths or like payphone areas. It just that it just, in my opinion, makes the uh, map seem more human-like, I guess. I also put these, uh, like I said before, if you're a forger, these are um, stunt ramps. I like it because it like reminds me of a street. It looks like a street op um, mod anyway like these little lights up over here that I put but from the gameplay that I made which you guys like I said before will be able to see the, um, it's pretty fast paced I mean people get in action probably within 5 to 10 seconds so where I was just now was a spawn point neutral spawn area really for um either team that way they don't get spawn killed in their base because when I first started playing it spawns was actually a bad yeah a bad part of the map but hopefully all the spawn points uh, at it will fix that the video um not the video the map will be on my file share I'll part, put a link to that in the description that way you can go check that out uh weapons power weapons you probably saw me pick up most or if not all there's a sniper rifle, one shotgun, one sniper rifle, two grenade launchers, and uh, two concussion rifles. Here's an overhead view of the entire map, just to show you guys, see what it looks like. Whenever I do um, maps like this, I kind of like to have one side a little more natural than the other, instead of it being all Forge World-like. And with these dice that you see repeatedly, uh, uh, it just kind of seems like, uh, the map is complete, it works, and it's, um, like a really good map that I'll probably be showcasing a lot whenever I can, whenever I host custom games, which, unfortunately, it's that often, it's kind of hard to get people to come play, but yeah, video's almost over, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, oh, tch. I didn't really expect anyone to be able to do that. I just happened to figure it out. But yeah, videos coming to an end. Hope you like it. Oh yeah. I'm just saying, if you like the map, 
you can download in the description if you like the video. Hit the like button, comment, tell me what you think of the map, what can be improved, what will make it better, funner. If you would like to come try or see it for yourself, you could just download it or I could just show you a little tour and show you other maps that I made, which I do plan on doing in the future. Thanks for watching.